wanted to go over one really simple trick that I learned early in my days of food photography that I think is one of the simplest ways to go from feeling like a beginner to creating pictures that look like you're a pro. And it's as easy as this. So many of us are spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars on backdrops, and there's really not a need to. If you purchase these um, two, like two foot by three foot canvas squares from a craft store, you can usually get a pack of five for less than $20. And then what I have done is gone ahead and purchased the like 69 cent um, acrylic paints and then just painted each of these canvases all sorts of different colors. So I've got blue, I've got yellow, here's a red one, there's orange, there's a really great blue, this doesn't go here. Um, I've got a royal blue, which I highly recommend having that royal blue, it looks so great with food. Um, a purple and a green. And when you're painting these, you just basically slather on the paint because you don't want it to be perfect. See? Not perfect. You want it to just kind of be textury and messy. And then the secret to using these is what you're going to do um, is you shoot everything on that color in that color. So for instance, on this blue, I would utilize a blue plate like, like this. So suddenly, everything that I shoot on this blue, all of the food really starts to pop because it's going to be um, separate, not complementary, of these colors that all kind of mute and go away. So in a time where so many of us are shooting on like, you know, wood or we're spending thousands of dollars trying to find like the perfect barn door. I think this is one of the fastest photography setups to get going and especially if you're shooting vegan, um, raw, healthy foods, you can create some absolutely gorgeous stuff. Here's a couple of shots of what I have done, um, what I've created photo-wise on these basic canvas colored backdrops. set up one of these colorful shoots and I actually I'm going to try something new that I haven't tried before um, I'm going to get all of that put away I am using some pink cellophane wrap I actually used to have a pink um, canvas that I don't anymore so pink cellophane wrap and I'm just going to set this up and shoot um, a pink champagne cocktail on it so the brand wanted this like super girly, really beautiful, playful, celebratory cocktail. And so this is going to become my base. And we're going to shoot these pink cocktails with a couple of kind of celebration props. So I also have some pink confetti. I have some pink uh, curly ribbon. And then, of course, some pink paper straws because like every food blog picture ever has to have these. So go ahead, peek and watch at how I set this up and then I'll show you the final pictures at the end of the video.
the kind of shot that you get when you go pink and pink and pink or whatever color you want to go. A great way to get a fresh look. Subscribe to me for future trip tips below and we'll see you next time.